Studebaker. It's 54. 54. Volkswagen van, Cadillac back there, Avanti. There's a Lark, Model T, Cutlass Convertible. I am a 69. Dark Convertible. 66. Very nice. Now these folks came by. No, they didn't. Okay. There's 51 Pontiac. I thought these folks had come by before, but they had. Oh, that's an eight cylinder. Very nice. Nicely loaded wagon. Isn't that cool? That's all steel. Saw the earlier Bentley uh, from the uh, Bentley boys. This is the later one after Rolls Royce had taken over. That's gorgeous. Love the custom bodywork on that. Ah, unusual. There's the two plus two. That was made uh, for the. NASCAR. Here we go. Conti convertible. Look at that fine grill. Wow. Wonder people fell in love with that car, huh? There you go, Mark III. That was a revolution unto itself. Again, brought in personal luxury cars like mad. The caddy drop top. Oh, 67. Packard Woody, folks. Like the SUV of its day, so many of the manufacturers made station wagons. Knees, huh? When was the last time you saw a four-door Packard Woody like that? Or that? And the Mitsubishi 3000. That's the Dodge Stealth. Sorry about that. Same thing. Built in America. Very interesting. I like this with the Pontiacs passing by, of course the GO, GP, another GO. Oh, that was manual transmission on that Grand Prix. Incoming, incoming! Oh my god, there's a locomobile. Again, these were huge cars. After they gave up the steam and the Stanley Brothers brought back, bought back their patents. Uh, they really went into big gas luxury cars. It's an auto car. Lovely. And one runs off gas, so you go. Golden Eagle. Look at that. Beautiful high wheeler. Gorgeous. That's belt drive, not even chain drive, belt drive. So that made it so much easier uh, to fix in the field. Nice Dodge convertible. Wow. 